Hello everyone and welcome to the Reddit Railway. My name is Victor and I'll be your driver. Today's destination is r slash entitled parents, so all aboard! My parents sometimes ask me or my siblings to watch their house while they're gone because they don't want to leave the dogs alone for an extended period of time. They also live in a rather nice village, the kind that barely has any crime, where everyone knows everyone, etc. However, it does have one issue. There's a rather large town nearby that's notorious for scummy people. It's like a giant pimple in an otherwise pleasant area, and whenever people from that town manage to get a decent amount of money, they have a tendency to move to our village. As expected, they bring their attitude with them. That's where the Child parents and the devil spawn of this story are from. So I'm sitting in the garden, minding my own business and the dogs when I heard the sound of a soccer ball being kicked around in the carport area of my parents' house. They generally allow kids to use it when they're at work. At first I didn't pay much attention until the ball came flying over the fence into the backyard. I only noticed when the dog started growling. This was followed by the loud crack of wood and a thump from something large falling down. That's when I saw the devil spawn. He had fallen down and the dogs were about to charge. I got hold of them and and put them inside. Meanwhile, the kid is already in the yard grabbing his ball and sprinting back towards the broken fence. He attempts to climb back over, cracking another plank at the bottom in his escape attempt, but I walk over and grab him by the collar of his shirt. And where do you think you're going? Let me go! Let me go! He squealed. I don't think so. You just broke the fence. You can either calm down or I can call the police. The kid keeps flailing until he turns around and looks at me. Now, I'm six foot six and in very good physical shape. I have a permanent resting dipshit face, so he quickly stopped. I then dragged the boy over to his house. I knock on the door and am greeted by the sound of a yelling woman on the other side. She's going on about how the kid has a key and now she has to get up. Eventually, the door opens. Hello, miss. You're... Let go of my boy right now! What is wrong with you? I let go primarily because I was shocked by her reaction. The kid starts sobbing like a five-year-old and runs inside. How dare you touch my son! Well, if you would stop yelling and let me explain, I am not yelling! Right. Regardless, your son just broke my parents' fence trying, and that gives you the right to manhandle my son? I did not manhandle your son. I grabbed the collar of his shirt because he was trying to run away after he broke the fence. Now you can either calm down and we can come to an agreement on how to handle this, or I can call the police and have them deal with it. At this point, she seemed to calm down a bit more, especially after I mentioned the word police. Right, so it's probably not that bad. She calls over her son, who had fixed his sadness by stuffing his face with candy. Say sorry to the neighbor. Sorry. And he bolts off again, not even giving me a chance to reply. Well, with that out the way, she attempts to close her door. I quickly shake off my shock and put my foot in the way. I then raise my voice substantially. Excuse me? Your son broke the fence. It's all fine and dandy he gave a half-assed apology on your orders, but he still broke a 200 euro wooden fence that will need to be replaced. My son said sorry, so that's the end of it. I should point out the neighbor on the other side had been outside the whole time. He dislikes these people a lot. He's had a lot of problems with them ever since they moved in. The entitled mother once again tries to close the door on me, but since I still have my foot in the way, all she can do is give my toes a thrashing. Look, this is the last time I... Then her diminutive husband appears, visibly upset and annoyed. He's maybe five foot five with noodle arms and a balding head that glistened in the sun. He looks up at his taller wife and asks, And what is the problem here? He's yelling at me and manhandled our son. I will get you, you asshole. The door swings open. As you might guess, I wasn't the least bit scared or intimidated by this quote-unquote man. Look, dude, I didn't do jack shit to your son. The only one who has been yelling this entire time is your wife. Your son broke my parents' fence. You can either pay for the damages or we can get the police involved. You have no proof my son was responsible, so go fix it yourself, asshole. And if you ever... Then the neighbor pipes in. I saw everything. Your son broke the fence and tried to run away. Also, your wife just assaulted OP with the door. You can clearly spot a devious smirk on the neighbor's face. I don't know how much he really saw, if anything, but like I said, he absolutely hates them and wanted revenge. The bravado of the parents left immediately. So, as I was saying, the fence cost 200 euros when my parents purchased it. Add another 50 for the time it'll take me to replace it, and we'll call it quits. And if you threaten me again, I will defend myself. Got it? 
I was honestly sort of hoping that Dad would lose his shit and attack me just so I would be justified in kicking his ass. But of course he backed off. He told me he'd get the money tomorrow. I told him he'd better have it or I'd be calling the police. I also said that kid was no longer allowed to play in our carport. I thanked the other neighbor and returned to the yard. After scrolling on my phone, I decided to make this post. You know, I often feel sorry for children raised by entitled parents. How can they be expected to grow up right when they have such rotten role models? But OP did mention the boy was 13. That that's old enough to know you don't break someone else's property and then try to run away. Even if he said sorry right after it happened, that wouldn't have fixed anything. He sounds like a feral. And like I said in my last video, the apple never rots far from the tree. The parents are clearly dead shits. I was also kind of hoping that dad would try to fight OP. It would have been satisfying to hear he got his ass kicked, but there's still hope as there is an update, so let's see what happened. The day passed without any real excitement. My parents came home and it was nearing dinner time. I had told them what happened over the phone. I showed them the fence and my dad was not happy. I explained to him they agreed to pay for the damages and he should expect them to be at the door anytime with 250 euros. This was honestly the only thing that stopped him from going over there himself and giving them a piece of his mind. At the last possible moment, right when I was about to call the police, Dumb and Dumber decided to show up. My dad opens the door with me right behind him. So, you finally decide to show up. Yeah, we're here to talk about what happened. How dare you think your son can talk to us like that? No, you are here to pay for the damages to my fence. Besides that, I want absolutely nothing to do with you people. Once again, her husband appeared from behind. And what is that supposed to mean? That I want you to pay for the damages your son did to my fence, and then I want to go back to not speaking to you. How dare you? We're here to talk about how rude your son was. Was I rude before or after you yelled at me and slammed the door against my foot? Or perhaps when your husband made his hilarious attempt to threaten me. You should have seen the dude's face as he fumbled to reply. Then the neighbor I mentioned in my last post walked over to our front lawn. Look, are you going to pay for the damages or are we going to have to call the police? I am in no mood to deal with you people any longer than I absolutely have to. No, first we want your son to apologize for how he behaved. Could you please stop yelling? We have neighbors, you know. See, he's being rude again. You better tone down that attitude. By this point, I had had it. I am completely done with these people. I grabbed my phone and begin dialing the non-emergency police line. Right, I'm calling the police. We'll let them deal with it. Good idea. Now get the hell off my property. What? No, uh, just give him the money. The entire dad's bravado disappeared again. Defeated and deflated, he walked up to my dad and handed him the money. Was that truly so hard? My neighbor had the brightest smile on his face and yelled, Sure seems like it was. Some people just don't know how to behave. The entitled mother was clearly fighting hard to keep herself from blowing up at him. She stomped back to their house with her deflated husband following behind like a little obedient shadow. More like mongrel, that fool is whipped. It might not have been literal, but he still got his ass kicked. OP should have called the cops. And I mean right at the start when the son broke the fence. Maybe he could have spared himself and his family all this drama. Then again, if he had, he wouldn't have had a wicked story to share. So win, win. Fingers crossed you never have to deal with those dead shits ever again. But if you have to, you should thank them for the new fence. Anyway, we've come to the end of our journey. Thank you for traveling on the Reddit Railway, and we hope to see you again soon.